What's going on guys? This is Moonlight150 with your battle for today. I just had two cans of soda, so I'm ready to go. So this is a Yu Yu battle versus is uh, so XX something something snowman. That's all I remember from his name is just snowman. Anyway. He's brings it brings lings Ah, uh, okay. Already I can't talk. This is good. Anyway, brings in Arcanine for his lead. Intimidate brings down my cannon bolt on fans attack. He's gonna go for that flare blitz first turn. Don't know if he was predicting a switch or he was fearing that or maybe he thought he could take me out with one flare blitz. But a uh, combination of life orb and his uh, recoil is gonna take and take a nice little chunk, and I'm gonna set up the turn to kept the rocks. I did not think I would take the flare blitz that badly, so that's why I was so sure of take uh, of setting up the rocks. He decides to switch out even though he knows probably uh, a Flare Blitz would take him out from that range, even if I got my leftovers. But I'm going to go for that Earthquake just to see if I can take it out. But he springs in Gastrodon. This was obviously before Gastrodon went. Oh, you. This was back when he still considered RU. This is the first of October when this was t uh, recorded. It was either the first or the third. So very early October. My air conditioning just kicked on. Uh, so I'm going to keep going for this Earthquake, and I really wanted to speed this part up, but, you know, I just got lazy. So, it's, it, it, you know the drill when Gastrodon was lower tier, he just, he would just block everything and recover. And that's exactly what's going to go on here, so I'm just going to babble on for a little bit while Cannonball keeps Earthquaking, while Gastrodon will keep recovering with his leftovers, and recover. Uh, so, let's see, I'm going to go for that Earthquake, eventually he's going to switch out here. He is. I know he does. I watched the battle. Uh, surprisingly, the Earthquake does a lot. He's going to go for that Ice Beam, thinking he can take me out, but I am a little bit of defense invested, so I'm going to live with that 11. Look at that. I just didn't feel like editing, muting this, fat, making it sped up, and then adding in that Team Plasma battle music. Just didn't feel like it, so I'm just, you know, I'm gonna, we're gonna, you're going to sit it through with, with me. You're going to do it. You're going to sit with, you're going to sit with me and just watch this Gastrodon take Earthquakes all day. And recover. You're gonna watch it. There is another Pokemon on his team that has changed tier since this battle. Uh, I can't remember who it is. All I remember is just this freaking Gastrodon stalling me. But don't worry, as soon as this uh, stall part is over, the battle's gonna go a lot faster. So, just have to tough it through. Patience is a virtue, people. Oh, uh, let's see. Keep going for that Earthquake. Yeah, but if this was like a 10 minute long battle, I would have sped this up. But considering how it's only 7 minutes non sped up, I decided to keep it. So, there is the final end of this stall war. I get a crit, which does take out the Gastrodon from over half health. Was that over half health? Let's rewind and find out. Yeah, right. Anyway, he's gonna bring in that Raikou. I'm fearing the obvious Aura Sphere, but I said, you know what, rocks are up, I don't need... Don Fan has done his job, so I don't need uh, him to switch out to take some other hit later. But he does decide to go for that Hidden Power instead. Maybe he thought I would switch out on the off chance he wanted to hit something more neutral. But it I think that's Hidden Power Ice. Could be wrong, but I'm. It seems most sense that Hidden Power Ice would be the most effective on a Raikou, 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 whatever you want to pronounce that. Anyway, I bring in Elefante, and have you noticed that I've always I've always wasted Mammal Swine every UU battle. My Mammal Swine does absolutely nothing but die within the first turn. Then that no, and then the trend will just continue. Mammal Swine dies after one Aura Sphere. I gotta stop bringing Mammal Swine. He's my poor Mammal Swine does just gets beat up constantly. Anyway, so I'm going to bring in Hot Pocket. It could take an Aura Sphere a lot better than Mammoth Swine can. That's exactly what he's going to do. And we obviously know he's not choice because he did go for that Hidden Power first, so... He just wants to keep hitting everything with an Aura Sphere. And I'm going to go for that Overheat. I believe this was still back when my Rotom was Choice Specs, so... Choice Specs first turn Overheat. He's definitely going to take out that Raikou because Raikos are a little frail like that when it comes to neutral damage. So, let's see, he's gonna bring in Flygon now, I'm not liking this matchup, but I decided to stay in anyway to take the Outrage, because I thought, you know, if I do live, I'll hit him with another out with another Flare Blitz, if not, I'll just die off and I'll switch advantage, and he decides to knock me out, so I do bring in Melvin, my Slowbro. He's gonna go for that Outrage again, but I am, I do have sp some special attack invested in this thing, it's not full defensive, it, there's still a lot of defense invested in the Slowbro, but not fully like normal, because I do have the Ice Beam for situ uh, situations like this, and that Ice Beam will be enough to take out that Flygon. I don't know if that would have taken out from half health without the Stealth Rocks, we will never know. 
So anyway, uh, Melvin's going to get some leftovers, and in comes Sylvia, that's the other Pokemon that has changed here. This one also went up to OU. Now I can see why it went to OU, these things like Gastro and Selby are really good. Even though ever since Selby did go to OU, I've been seeing a lot less of it. So, it's like too overpowered for UU, but it's not powered enough to be fully used in OU. Maybe it should be in that BL tier. Anyway, so Celebi takes out Slowbro with one Giga Drain when I was actually fearing the Leaf Storm. Anyway, I'm going to bring an Angel now, go for that Air Slash. But actually, I decided to go for that Fire Blast instead, just to see if, one, I can land it with my hacks, but two, he'd probably do a lot more neutral damage, too, if he wanted to switch out. I don't know if he was predicting the Air Slash or the Fire Blast. He was probably predicting the Air Slash more, more than likely. But surprisingly, that Fire Blast does a lot to a Dawn fan. I was actually pretty surprised how much that did. If I would go for another Fire Blast, he probably would have been dead already. But knowing me, I probably would have missed that Fire Blast. So he decides to go for that Ice Shard just to see how much you do, but it does almost nothing, which kind of surprised me. It, either this thing is not um, really attack invested, or it must be more special defensive invested, because look how much that Aura Sphere actually did. Although it was neutral. So, I don't know. I have no idea what the stats are on this Dawn fan, but I am fully special attack invested. I think I'm modest, I'm not sure. I haven't used this Togekiss in a while. Actually, I actually haven't UU battled in a long time since this battle. So I'm going to go for that final Aura Sphere to knock out Dawn Fan, so luckily he doesn't set up his rocks, if that Dawn Fan even does, has rocks. You would think after surviving an Aura Sphere with that little bit of health, he would have set up the rocks. Maybe he wasn't fast enough, and that's why he kept going for the Ice Shard. Anyway, in comes Arcanine. He takes some decent damage, although I've, I think this thing might have some defense invested in it, because I've seen Arcanines take a lot more damage from rocks. So, he might have some defense invested for rocks, for rock reasons. Uh, so he goes for that wild charge, obviously going to take me off, so being super effective with a life orb. It's going to take some nice recoil damage. There's a recoil, and then life orb recoil, so pretty much anything I can hit it, hit it with will take it out. So I'm going to bring in Cobalion. And go for that all-important sacred sword. Obviously going to take him out, be doing neutral. And that will be the end of Arcanine. So all he has left is that Celebi. Thankfully, I have gotten rid of the taunt off uh, Kobaleon by this point, and I do have the X-Scissor now. So that will be the game. So good game, Snowman, and I will see you guys. And that's a crit. I don't know if that mattered. If anyone wants to run that, you more than likely have to, but I have no idea what the stats were on that Celebi. Anyway, good game, and I will see you guys on the next battle. I'm going to go play some Xbox. Bye.